drives that 22 down into turn three. Can he slide in front of him off? Well, he can slide anyway. Yeah, it's going to be a tough <laughs> pass down there for Keselowski. You saw he's making most of his time up high and uh, trying to make this pass now on the bottom. Yeah, I really like what I saw with his car up high. You don't have to turn the wheel as much, so you're not hurting the tires as bad, and you get a huge run down the straightaway, and that allowed him to use the draft, and now you can see he's making that pass on the inside for the lead. Oh, yeah, he'll be able to clear him easily off this corner. Here Where, oh, comes really? Logano. Looked like he was clear. But that momentum, boy, it really is a big factor here coming off the corner. Little discretion being the better part of valor this early in the race. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been yeah, lap 148 or 145, and he'd have slid right up in front and taken his chance of getting run into. Try it again. Yeah, still not enough momentum there. You've got to really have a big cushion for that to happen. You can see this has allowed Allgaier to get right up to them. Yeah, he surprised me a little bit on that initial time that he tried to make the pass on, on Logano in that he had him set up where I think he could have gone to his outside, but when he forced Logano to the outside, he actually did him a favor. Now him. he's made that slide job work. That was textbook right there. That's the way you do it. Well, you can see he just drove the car real, real deep in the corner and used that apron to get it to turn, and then he had enough gap to pull up in front of Logano. Now Logano's going to try the bottom. Inside bottom. Whoa, Ooh. looks like Keselowski went just a little bit too high. Yeah, getting it dusted off up there. Though. Yeah. Cleaning off his groove. Yes. So first lead change, second leader of the race. Brad Kozlowski to the point, bypassing today's pole sitter, Joey Logano.